Hello, my name is Sarah Flake. I'm a certified Optavia coach, and I just wanted to do a quick video about personal development. <laughs> now, how, when I say personal development, just do a quick check and see how your emotional response was to that, because I know for me, I, until my early 30s, I had never looked at a personal development book. I felt like I knew how the world worked. I felt like I knew who I was. I felt like I needed, I had everything I needed to get through life in a satisfactory manner. Uh, but I also was noticing there was a lot of repeating cycles that were not satisfactory for me you know weight being one of them emotional management was one but it was just stuff i thought was fixed i was like this is just how it is and i just have to suck it up but when i finally got on this personal development wagon um, things started to change pretty quickly so when you're looking at personal development the first step is really just figuring out where you are on this spectrum of consciousness and to be honest most people they have done most of their emotional development and work by the time they're in their teens. And after that, they really don't put much more time into it. So, you know, you'll meet people who maybe still have the same emotional responses that they did as teenagers, even though maybe they're a 40 year old at this point. So why is that and how can we change it? So our consciousness is like a river and we are the fish swimming in this river of our consciousness. And depending on how much personal development we've done, our river is either very, very small and shallow or very wide and deep and broad. And as a fish swimming, let's say it's a limited consciousness. Let's say we're a fish swimming in a little river. We look around, we see what we see, and we just assume that everyone else is in this same river. Everyone else is having our same experience, our same emotional reactions. But then as we do personal development, this river starts to get a little bit wider, a little bit deeper, and uh, our realities start changing. Our perception of what's possible starts changing. Uh, our responses to things start changing because there's just a broader universe now for us to interact with. And that's what personal development does is it widens and deepens this river of our consciousness and creates uh, just more vibrant outcomes honestly so let me go through the four different levels of consciousness first thing I'd like you to identify where you are level one is self-interest and as I said before a lot of people never quite get past this level self-interest is the survival level it is uh, dedicated to feeding our self-esteem being right uh, it is about looking after our ego it's typically us versus the world. We can feel disconnected at times from our friends, our community, and people in this level tend to do a lot of blaming, fault finding, um, and a lot of feelings of scarcity. So that's our first level. Level two is the actualized self. And at level two, we start to ask questions like, well, just because that's how I was raised, maybe I could do differently. Like, is, we start to think about things that might be possible to change. This is where we start to move beyond what we were taught. Uh, we're starting to really explore what matters most to us. At this level, we may start making changes to fundamental areas of our lives, like our religion, sexuality, politics, values, identities, like this is where we start asking some big questions and possibly making changes. So we're basically moving beyond that instruction manual we were all raised with, it was very black and white, and start asking some bigger questions. So we have increasing levels of awareness. Level three is integrated self. Now, this is where we really start seeing some emotional intelligence and literacy. Not only are we starting to react and respond to our own emotions in a healthier way, but now the interactions we're having with others are more emotionally intelligent and we're interacting with our surroundings and the community around us more effectively. We're becoming more connected. Uh, we're starting to really get that emotional baggage resolved. So just because something happened, we've worked through it, we've helped it we've used it to help us move forward you're starting to get to the point where you feel like you can pretty much handle anything and you're feeling fully capable of making choices and creating changes level four is where i would love to be someday <laughs> i'm not close to this yet but this is the selflessness self level four is where you just feel like life really has no struggles you're no longer frustrated by judgmental negative emotions uh, you feel compassionate most of the time you're able to be in a place of giving you feel connected to something bigger than you whether that's love or spirituality family community and your life at this point really is organized around what matters most the hallmark for this level is at this 
fourth level, you have learned to separate what you are creating in your life from what you feel about yourself. So the fact that maybe you have a little insecurity or you might fail doesn't impact your ability to still focus on what you want to have happen. Then we see lots of examples of this, of people who have created amazing things and they're incredibly successful in life. And it doesn't mean they don't still have feelings of self-doubt, but they do the thing anyway because their higher purpose is to create this change. So those are the four different levels. And once you identify where you are on that, that's the biggest key, identifying where you are and then starting to make these little shifts and realizing that it can be differently and starting to seek out personal development in, in these different areas. Now, when I realized that things that I thought were fixed were actually changeable, uh, the first thing I did was I looked for mentors. I looked for examples of success. I wanted my brain to start proving that it could be different. And so I looked at other people who were having success and I would read their stories. If possible, I would connect with them and I would ask them, like, tell me about your journey. What did you do? What were you reading? What were your struggles? So start normalizing these interactions with people who have been through what you'd like to go through. And then get online, explore, find uh, you know, books on Amazon, look up YouTube channels, whatever area you're hoping to develop. Just get crazy about doing some research and plugging in the mental work to do it. It does take time, but there's so many resources online that you can work into. Um, find a coach or a mentor, someone that you can walk through this process with mentally, and they can be a sounding board for you and hold up a mirror and help you identify the places where you're stuck, that maybe you didn't realize you were stuck or you still had a toxic mindset, and they can help you identify it and move past it. Who do you know that will be real with you? <laughs> you know, find people who aren't just yes people. Find people who are going to help you move forward and have those tough conversations. Anything that you need to make a priority make sure that it is on your schedule make sure that you've habit bundled it as in like you know if, if you want to listen to a personal development podcast bundle it with your walk with the dog bundle it with your time in the tub um, put it in a place in your schedule where there's a cue that's going to remind you to do the thing so i know for me i like to keep my personal development books in the areas of the house where i relax the most so you know on a coffee table or on the kitchen table so when i sit down and i have these little pauses they're right there and i can pick them up so where, what would make sense for you? Like, where could you put those in? And then podcasts. Podcasts are fabulous. So there's tons of free podcast apps. Um, I know when I was struggling with some financial goals, it was really helpful for me to start off every morning with a finance podcast. It just gets your mindset right. So whatever it is you're focusing on, put that stuff in your brain. And of course, you know, tons of great webinars, which is a great reminder. Tonight, also, we have our community webinar. It's all about creating uh, perpetual motion with your body. Even if you can't make it to the gym with circumstances going on how can you create more activity more motion in your body so make sure to join us for that tonight but um, I just want to give this little tidbit to you and help you guys realize that there are these different levels I would love to help you level up so identify where you are in those four different stages and then reach out get connected talk to the person who invited you to this and figure out what your next step is and I hope that helps